Manisa Said. I'm a half caste of Kamba and Arab, so I'm a Swahili. My names are Katana Evans Mutembei. My dad is an half caste of Giriyama and Akamba. My mom is an half caste of Meru and, and Kuyu. My dad is Kenyan, Aluo, and my mom is Ugandan. A new generation of Kenyan youth are about to embark on a unique adventure. Personally, I live with my parents. Hello. For the first time and on their own will, they plan to travel away from their homes and live with total strangers, a family from a different tribe. Here yeah, it's very green, nice air, nice breeze. It's, it's, it's a very nice place. My general opinion, I can't survive. The people here are welcoming. I've never seen a grey porridge like ever. So it's like, whoa. Today we are going to the Kakamega Forest and it's the only tropical forest in, in Eastern Africa. This is a characteristic of a rainforest. The ferns and the moss grow on the banks, the banks of the trees. It's very nice, it's a very cool place, a place, it's a very nice tourist attraction. And the Atondo family have a wedding, a proposal, so I have to cook. They use the jiko, the traditional jiko. Ile ya kuni, I had to wash the kuni. It was very bad. Moshi na kuingia kwa macho. I came to know the, 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 the bean leaves are also eaten. I never knew. Actually, their traditional food, they don't put salt in their food. They don't use oil in their food. For me that was a big challenge, eating food without salt. It's kinda healthy. Healthy but not tasty. <laughs> How do you survive without salt? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see dead birds. It was very scary. The, the whole point of going to the shrine was to see the old culture. Uh, the wrestling match, it was used uh, to unify. In the modern days, we can use music to unify our Kenya. How much do the youth today know about the different tribes and cultures in Kenya?